Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC12 in Salt Lake City. We're here at the Ace Tech booth, and I'm here with Andre, the CEO of the company. Andre, let's start at the beginning. Who is Ace Tech, and who do you help? So, Ace Tech is a liquid cooling company. It's all we do, and uh, our main business right now is actually providing desktop PCs, commercial workstations, and stuff for liquid cooling for the CPUs. And the reason we're here at the show is we're actually making a major move towards data center energy efficiency and stuff like that. So to answer your question directly, the people we answer right now are people who like to save money on their energy bill and become a greener data center. So it's all about energy efficiency, especially in this market where density keeps increasing more cores. What are we looking at here, Andre? What, we've got a full rack. Yeah, so this is actually a bigger size rack than normal. This is a 48U rack. And we actually have 92 nodes with uh, 235 watt processors in each. So when you add it all up, you actually have 40 kilowatts of power here. It's a pretty powerful rag and probably the most dense and powerful rag you can, you can buy today. And um, the unusual thing about this rag is, although we put in, let's say, 40 kilowatt of power, we spend something like 300 watts of cooling it. That's it where in a normal data center out of 40 kilowatt you would perhaps add another 15 kilowatts just for the cooling alone so we got this full rack 37 kilo that's a that's a pretty serious i mean that's probably the capacity of most racks and you're removing the heat through a, a closed circuit water system is that correct yeah, no it's no. actually a hot water system and uh, the reason why i emphasize that is that if it was cold water or chilled water you would need to spend power on actually chilling the water. What we're doing here, and as, as you can see up here, we have something called a dry cooler, which is essentially a passive radiator, like in front of your car, with a slow running fan. And then we run liquid through each and every server, and then through our system, and up on the roof of, let's say, the building of your data center. And then you use free ambient air to cool your data center. So what are the advantages of that, besides, you said it, it, you're taking less energy to cool the system, are there any other advantages? Yes, the, the other advantage is the fact that we can stand here to, and talk, have a conversation <laughs> with a 40 kilowatt rack is actually pretty impressive right, in itself. Be my hair yes. this way, right? Yeah. And, and then there's the density, which obviously for high performance computing is, is, uh, is key. So there's no limitation. You could have rack after rack after rack with the most powerful server you can buy for money and still be able to do it and you don't have to worry about a uh, crack or air conditioning or airflow or anything like that. Well, yeah, under, I'd love to see some of the components inside. Can you show us that? Absolutely. Let's go do that. So Andre, what are we looking at here? So if we start from the bottom, this is one of the nodes, also called the server that I referred to before. There's like 92 of these. There are two Intel Xeon processors here. There's a lot of memory in each bank and on each CPU. We then have a cold plate and a pump, and between the memory dims, we also have coolers. All that heat we pump around out of the server through one of these uh, tubes we have here with the uh, tripless quick connect. There's actually fluid inside this tube now. That connects into a rack CDU that you see behind you, and that rack CDU then transports the liquid out of the system into the facility's water or up onto your dry cooler. So you have 92 of these. And to kind of demonstrate how this works, we put in a CFD application, computational, computational fluid dynamics application, that in this case is actually simulating a formula car. And we are running 90 parallel of these. And that's what this picture shows, that every node in the system is actually uh, stressed 100%. And if you then move over here to our software surveillance system that we have on each of our, our products, you can actually see the water temperature coming in, the water temperature coming out. You can see liquid levels, you can see pressures. And, and uh, most interesting, what you can see here right now, we're actually removing 37 kilowatts of CPU and memory power. So, okay, so, and, and is this a server blade or what, what do we have here? This is a 1U server, this is a Cisco uh, 220 server, uh, also equipped with our liquid cooling. Okay. And, um, Something we haven't talked about is the actual energy savings that you do on your power bill. But what we also have here is actually a, a small power plant in the sense that there's so much waste heat from these servers. You can actually recapture that and use it for, for example, building heating. And as you can see over here, we actually have a hot tub. 
And this hot tub is actually heated by these servers here. And uh, the temperature in that right now is probably 110 degrees. Uh, so that's also to illustrate not only do you save money on cooling, but you can also reuse the heat and save money in that way. So you could heat your building with, with the waste heat that you're removing from exactly. the computers. Exactly. So I, I got to ask you, Andre, you know, this is, this is the world's fastest computers, the national labs. What kind of reaction are you getting from those guys that really are challenged by this kind of stuff? Well, actually, uh, we have gotten really good feedback to, to this whole deal. This is our first entrance into this market. It's the first time on this show, and it's been, it's been really positive, both for from end users, but also from you know the system integrators and the server OEMs.